Hello everyone, my name is Comet and today we are gonna continue our training in Magicka. In the previous episodes we learned what was Magicka, how we can utilize this in combat and what we need to do in order to utilize it in combat. And it's time to put everything into practice. That is why on the last session yesterday we discovered how we can see our magicka and how to manifest it on the outside world and in this episode what I want to do is train the flow of magicka in our bodies so that we can go even further beyond so welcome everyone once again my name is Comet and today we have our first ever training in Applied Magicka, where we are going to be training um, how to shoot the energy from our bodies into someone else. Now, right now this energy does not do any damage. In fact, all that it does is um, it generates a light. A light that we can use to illuminate the dark. Let me show you. Hmm. This is our light. So this is the representation of our magicka. And this is what we learned in the previous sessions. And today we are going to learn how we can project this further so that we can have a better control of um, this energy that we have inside of us and remember for those of you that didn't watch my previous episodes magica is life flowing within our bodies in the form of an energy now let's begin this training for this though we need to remember what we did in previous session, which is try to have peace of mind and try to calm everything within our bodies. You can acquire this or like you can achieve this by breathing. And then this energy that you feel within our body move it towards your hands and that's how we learned in the previous episode how to do this as well we can now channel this energy in our hands and we know how to release it in a small ball but it's time to learn how to redirect it now this will be very exhausting so for the younglings out there, be careful of not using too much or to take a bit of a rest when you do this. So the first step is to channel the magicka within your hands, just like I'm doing at the moment. But then focus on increasing the magicka within one hand only. Feel the magicka flowing within your body and channel that in one hand. Now hold it. Shape it. Think of a sphere. Shape it. Hold it. Increase the energy. Increase it. And when you feel ready, release it. And just like that, we have trained our right hand. But the good wizard will be able to use both hands. That is why we need to do the same with our other hand. Again, focus on channeling all of this energy. Hold it. Hold it within your hand. But don't release it yet. Channel it as much as possible. 
and shape it as a sphere. And when you feel that you're ready, release it. And just like that, we have made our first ball of magicka. This ball of light is our life energy is the energy that is within us you know the um flow of life within our bodies and if you feel that you can do more channel everything so that you can use both hands i unfortunately can only do one hand at a time but when the time comes, we are going to be able to do a lot more. Just remember to do it bit by bit so that you don't get too tired. And that's it. This is going to be, this is, this was our training in how we can start using Magicka. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this more role-playing and narrative shield type of uh, gameplay. It's definitely very different than other gameplay where you just go and like, okay guys, we're gonna do this and that, etc. Here, it's more of, we are the characters um, some, somehow, and I want to tell a story, you know? And right now what I want to do is tell the story of how we learn to be wizards, you know, bit by bit and slowly but surely. So let's go back into the roleplay. Three, two, one. And now that we know how to channel magicka within our bodies, what we need to do is keep training. Keep training so that we can do this much much um w without much issue because a good wizard will train yeah as much as he can yeah one hand at a time if you can only use one hand like i do it's okay because eventually you'll be strong enough and I will be strong enough as well to use both hands. But for now, this is good enough. Now we know how to see our energy. We know how to f um, shape it. And we know how to release it. And how to release it at will as well. Because now we are going to be able to do this without issues. Look at that. And we can do this. Um, whenever we want as well but this requires a lot of practice so I am gonna keep practicing non-stop to continue doing uh, to continue learning and I will see you in the next episode with another lesson on how to use Magicka so thank you guys for watching my name is Comet and I am signing out peace